Here we go. Part one of the 50 kilowatt hour upgrade to the Nissan Leaf. Time for the unboxing. Let's go. You can see here that it is packaged very good, wrapped very well. All right, let's get to it. She bought this lift table off Amazon. She's a little wobbly. I'm going to use this to actually get up against the battery pack, lower it down, and then wheel it out of the car. Um, that's the thought. I may use pallet jacks. Not sure because I don't, this may have a starting height that's too high. But anyway, I got a whole series of screws to take off. I'll move the camera so we can get a better view of what I'm doing. Let's see what's in here. All right, moment of truth, C, module C. And nice and uh, wrapped in plastic really well. Okay, here it is. It's packing list, module C. Now I'm gonna be careful not to touch anything. This looks like the terminals. I'm going to want to get a voltage reading, if I can, off of this. This is, we got positive and negative. I'm going to see if I can get my voltage meter on here and see what kind of volts we got, what we're, what, what we're working with. So I want to make sure I'm on DC volts. My negative here, if I can get through it, make sure I'm not touching any leads here. It's like 87.2 volts on module C. All right, I did my best to maintain the cover on here. Now, 87.2 volts, that's eh, not going to kill me. I've been popped with 110 before, 120 volts. Not, it, but this will be enough to send, break the insulation of your skin. Anything above 35, 40 volts will break the insulation of your skin. I do have some electrical gloves safety gloves that i will be wearing during this install and i stress safety first but i want to document all the voltages on each one of these modules um we do have looks like packages of hardware i'm not going to take anything out of this right now but it does look like they provide nuts and bolts for the installation in each module pack so looks like everything you need for each module that you install is in the pack. So I'll wrap this up, put the cover back on it. Um, I'm probably only going to secure the four corners because I'm not shipping it anywhere. It's going to stay here in my garage. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up so nothing happens to this. And then we're going to check the other four boxes, make sure I am reading voltages and we're going to have a good possible balance in these four modules. So if they're all bolt, if they're all around 87.2 volts, Good to go. All right, negative, positive. Again, I'm going to check the voltage at 87.2 on C. Let's see what I end up on D. So I'm going to put my negative lead here. Again, I'm trying to maintain the cover on the terminal there. That way I do not cause short. Okay. 
it was the whole button on the stupid. I must have hit the whole button and it was holding at zero. So 87.3. Spacers, lifting straps, All right, this is module B. We have connectors here. It looks like they taped all the connectors off really well. And this has some extra goodies in here. Um, we have, let's see here. Uh, BMS bracket. Seven oh four. What this is? Oh, silicone rubber. Feels like some hardware. And looks like some this looks like some sealant to put on the case to seal the case so they give you they give you everything you need to do this job no let's put that back in there put that back in there let's do our voltage check between a and b i'm not going to touch these together we're going to 87 volts should be 87.2 87.3 if everything is balanced properly and we'll do our voltage check Package this back up. Uh, looks like we got something else here as well. It's like some kind of strap, a rubber gasket of some sort. It's... <laughs> Very nice. Looks like they provided some. Uh... Heat shrink for your connectors to be able to put this on heat gun, get it all nice and protected. So that's nice that they provided some extra heat shrink. Should be enough to complete this job. If not, I got a whole bunch here for when I do my solar projects. I also have heat shrink tubing because I do a whole lot of electrical stuff and got all kinds of sizing because I always I go all the way down to two gauge or zero gauge. So that's good. All right, now let's. Let's check our voltage. That is pretty unbelievable. 87.3. So it looks like, let me picture that. So far, they all seem to be fairly well balanced, which is good. So again, packing this, they tell us everything they have. Module B, screws, heat shrink, heat shrink, several phones and silicon seal it. So pretty excited to open the next box because that should contain the actual pre-programmed BMS. So turn that off, we'll repackage this set it aside and open our last box.
All right, now we're getting into the goody goodies. This, this is where all the magic happens. This is actually the BMS that is programmed specifically for my Leaf, for our My 2013 Nissan Leaf. Now what this is going to do is allow the dash to read the mileage correctly, the bars correctly, and the range correctly on the screen. So once this is installed in the pack with these modules, it should look like it was a dealer installation and not something that's going to give you. It shouldn't have turtle mode. All errors should be gone. If I get errors, I might be able to clear them with Leaf Spy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to document that in a future video. But this is the brains of the operation right here. And uh, again, this is also used to balance all the cells. Uh, very sophisticated device. It's very lightweight. I'm a little surprised by that. We do have a cable where it looks like C positive to and BDU positive. Let's get some more out of here. Here, da -da, da -da, power cable, copper bar, signal cable, da -da, pre program. It's okay. One thing I have not found was an installation video, which I've seen them do it online. I'm not too terribly concerned about the installation should be pretty straightforward but thought i was supposed to get a video but maybe there it's in a box that i missed well we'll go through and i didn't look at the first you know c and d i didn't go over the packing list my fault so anyway let's go ahead do our voltage check on this one go ahead stick that in there Eighty-seven point three. Let me put that over by the A so I can take a picture of that. Okay, so I got to say I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, the way they package this with as much care with the foam wrapping, the plastic inside the box, and then they wrapped every single box with shrink wrap, and then they strapped it to a pallet. And then they strapped the entire pallet. The way this was shipped, you know, we all fumigation free box. The amount of brackets they put on this, they make sure the package stayed intact coming from China to my house. I'm impressed. So by far, excellent job shipping. I'm very impressed. Uh, secondly, these modules are well balanced. Three modules read 87.3 volts, and one of them was 87.2. Uh, everything's within one volt, or in leaf spy terms, 100 millivolts of each other. And this is after they've been sitting. So um, once they get connected to the BMS again and powered back up, that BMS is going to get everything back in sync. It'll take some time. I'll probably slow charge it, make sure all the, all the cells have a chance to properly balance. We'll get into that in a later video. But uh, I am very impressed. Now, I did not see a installation video that they said was part of this package. Now, it might mean I just missed it. I didn't take everything out of the boxes. I'm gonna do that after I get the battery out of the car. I'll take these modules completely out and make sure I didn't miss anything. So, Anyway, that's it for this part of the series. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can see when I pull the battery pack out, which should be coming up shortly. Um, I do my normal job that I have. My normal nine to five is going to be taking me out of town for five of the next seven weeks. So I might get delayed in the actual installation, but I'm going to try to get it done with by the end of February. We'll see. Um, um, stay tuned. Uh, I'll keep you updated on what that's coming. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments. So far, I'm impressed. Everything's here. Everything 
voltages, test it out. I don't plan on doing any drawdown tests because these are in sync as far as they're in balance. So if I wanted to test, draw them down, I don't have any way to draw them down and charge them back up individually. So we're not going to do that. We want to leave these in balance. Otherwise, when I connect them to the BMS, if they're a big imbalance, it's going to cause a problem. So I'm going to trust that um, everything is working properly. And once we install it in the car, I'll be able to do more tests with Lee Spy, charging it at home and whatnot. So again, more to come. Stay tuned. Next step is actually removing the battery out of the leaf. So yeah, stay tuned. Exciting times.